Hello everyone and welcome back to Raise Aerospace Lave Station Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. We are here with our Lave Space Plane and we are going to try to land it on the surface and then bring it back up again. Now, I don't know how far it can glide. The surface is mostly water and we need to set down on land for sure. So that's going to be interesting. It does have jet engines, so we have that going for us. And it does have methane right now. I'll have to make sure to top everything off. I haven't done that yet. But we also have to make sure to undock safely without time warping anywhere near the station so that we don't have the station disappear on us again, which we have already had done to us before. So these are the space planes tanks. And then we have... We'll just go with the center tank pumping out, I think. Okay, because they're mephalox tanks, we have to get them from here. I'll uh, get them evenly. We'll carry that much. So we'll still have some in the station, but not much. Undock. Ooh, that's a little bit awkward. That's probably because of the tail fin. We'll just slowly move away, and then we'll pick our landing spot. We'll probably deorbit on the nighttime side. Over here. We do have the other space plane, but that's currently useless. It doesn't have enough fuel. I think this stretch here will be nice to land at. If we can make it. And then, if necessary, we can curve to the north there. Make sure we're controlling from here now. Turning with this is still not great. Okay, we are now outside what used to be the render range from things, so I'm gonna allow time warp now. The atmosphere is thinner, so I'm gonna assume that it's gonna not slow us down quite as much, but then we're going slower to begin with, so it's complicated. Uh, since we have jet engines, I will start earlier. And so we're doing it basically on the opposite side of the planet. And we'll set it to... Hmm, come on, turn to retrograde. 10 kilometers altitude for the periapsis, I think. But the periapsis is over there. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna just go with zero. I mean, we're probably gonna hit the atmosphere only over here. The crescent moon-shaped island, or continent, is sort of nice. Maybe we could turn into that if it turns out we overshoot this area here. Okay, I don't need the canard highlighted. Well, I should probably have RCS on anyway. But I don't want to waste it. We need that for docking. Yeah, yeah we'll just take whatever we get as far as pitch is concerned. Showing the Delta V for the jet engines, but the fuel is still sort of with the nuclear engine. Uh, maybe we'll make it. We'll see. But we're gonna glide a bit, probably. If I use all of my pitch, I can manage to hold almost the 40 degree mark. Not quite. We're going up, though. I don't need that. <laughs> oh, we'll get air brakes someday. Yeah, we're overshooting a bit. Certainly not enough to get to the crescent-shaped continent. Trying to turn to the north here. We'll see how well that goes. Because we have more land to work with. Now the ground is always bumpy, and it's hard to make a safe landing on just regular ground without a runway. That's going to be a challenge. Okay, I'm gonna pitch down. Yeah, the beaches with dunes on them, that's a bit rough. Well, the mountains are rougher. 
I'm trying for over here somewhere, I think. It's a bit out of plane, though. Uh, of course, we're very far north from where our station is going to be. So maybe I should avoid that. But then again, we can use the jet engines to launch into that. So this is not too bad. Speaking of jet engines. Okay, they are the ones active. But maybe I should just settle for this beach here, but it sure looks ripply. I don't know if that area over there is any better. Yeah, it still seems ripply over there. I'm just gonna try and land over here, I think. That way when we take off, we'll be taking off uh, in the direction we ultimately want to go in anyway. Get some jet engine thrust ready to go just in case. I don't know if I can save, but I'm going to try and save here. In flight in the atmosphere is not usually a great time to save, but... It knows I'm trying to do something based on the music. Gear down. Okay. Well, it didn't destroy me there. I'm trying for this little patch here in the hope that it's not too bumpy. Uh, the dune doesn't look too bad down here. Lots of rocks, though. <gasps> oh. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I I tilted up too much. Hmm. Well, I saved for a reason. I thought I was doing a pretty good job there, though. I mean, surely I was not landing too hard there. We had the gear out. But maybe we'll, you know, Apollo 10 this. Get really close to landing and then abort. If, you know, I can't do a proper landing, I can't do a proper landing. No, I'm pretty sure... Uh, well, it says failure between those things. Let me see if I can switch to the vessel right now. No... Can I... I don't see anything in sight that I can double-click on either. Uh... Well, I'm sure if somebody has an idea, they'll give me a comment about it, but... Uh, and then we can try again loading the older save while we were still with the station. But for now, I think we'll Apollo 10 this. And so I'll do a simulated landing without touching down, and then we're going to go back to the station. I, well, it, I guess there was still a vessel out there somewhere, but um, I don't know where it ended up. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to go to the map. I can't, so that doesn't work. I mean, those are pretty mild landings overall. Uh, apparently, it seemed to be the stress between the main wing and the tanks. Uh, admittedly, the landing gear is tucked pretty close in. Maybe I can land slower. Let's try that. Feel bad about not making it here. We can certainly make it. This plane is capable of this. I don't know if I, I... I know it was a wing piece. I don't know which wing piece it was that broke off, according to the dialogue. We can tilt up quite a lot. If we need to, it seems. Maybe I should just be very, very gentle here. As far as our descent speed. SAS doesn't like to keep the pitch at a certain level, though. God. Okay, I was trying to be gentle as far as going down is concerned, but we're losing time here. Three, two, ten. 
Oh, okay, 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 yeah. I was just lining too hard, I guess. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're gonna turn into a seaplane. Oh no, oh, okay. Well, now that I know what the problem is. All right, well, let me try again. Okay, just must be gentle. Okay, oh, that didn't work. Well, we know we can do it. Okay, yeah, it's, it's pretty good here. Do I have to come to a complete stop? Because... <laughs> oh no, there's water there. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh, of course. Uh, I don't know if I should add some trim to this thing. Okay, well, we're down again. Please let there not be water this time. Okay. I didn't put any ladder on. <laughs> we're not we're not gonna have them step outside. We've landed. We've landed. It counts. Now there's a lot of bits of water around. So I'm gonna have to plan my takeoff very carefully. I think we'll just try this stretch here. Let me save. Alright. Now we are going to try to launch and we have to go southward. So that we can intercept the target orbit again. Station's orbit. I'm just going to taxi a little bit. Hopefully we won't tilt or anything. And I want to go a little bit further to the right. Well, we're already picking up speed pretty well, actually. I don't mind this right now. Okay. And we're off. Gear up. Hey, there's Jewel. A nice little thin arc of Jewel right there. That's pretty good. Hey, let's get that. Okay, let's see if we can do the rest. It's a nice landscape. Not a very kind landscape, but a nice landscape. Okay, we are picking up speed here. Oh, we're too far south. Whoops. Doesn't seem too bad around here. I mean, Leif's atmosphere is close to that of Turbans. I just forget exactly where it's at, as far as that's concerned. We're doing plenty of air breathing at 21 kilometers, though. Going 1,200 meters per second already. Yeah, I accidentally overshot because I was just seeing how fast I could go. I think I'll take this. Let's just go with the rocket engines. Or rocket engine with the cluster, whatever. Go. Okay, that's probably good enough for now. Um, why don't we just do a maneuver right here? That will pull that down. We've got extra delta V. Seems good to me. Uh, can you point out the node at all? Okay, that is what I wanted. 
Well, the inclination is not quite right, but we'll take it for now. Uh, so this, that's a space plane. Let's not get mixed up here. We're catching up to the station. The station is not in a high enough... Well, we could probably match its periapsis and then we'll have a better time warp level. Okay, 700 meters at this mean point 2 location. And only, only 40 meters per second difference, so... But let's keep an eye on how far we are from it. Okay, there it is. 37 kilometers, and we will come out of time warp short of 2 kilometers. Gonna have to be careful now. Those vertical stabilizers didn't fit particularly well before. So there, set us target. Okay, sorry it's dark, but this is when we are approaching. It's worse for me than for you. Seems like a sort of 45 degrees sort of thing. That seems right in line with the equator. So maybe that'll work out. Okay. I think we're oriented. Well, we might need to pitch up a little bit. Oh, Don just in time. Other way, other way. Ah, uh, that's a little bit off. Oh, but it's okay. Tentatively okay. And, oh, I got the fins a little bit better this time, I think. Swibbling, wiggling a little bit, but it's okay. Alright, so we completed the mission, we landed. I'm sorry I didn't set the kerbals down on the surface, but I actually forgot the ladder. <laughs> but uh, other than that, everything works fine. And uh, we had launched this as one module, we should expand it somewhat. I regret not having a docking port right here though, or on those two locations. It's a little bit of a issue, but anyway, uh, as it stops wiggling, I'll wrap it up and we will save it here and we will see what we can do later on. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.